you think about uh, MMA pay-per-views rising and boxing pay-per-views kind of like on a downfall? You know what? I don't know because they say that's true, but they won't show it to you. Um, I can recall a boxing promoter challenging the UFC guy to show what their pay-per-views were against what the boxing pay-per-views were. And the UFC guy said, no, that was a private matter. But maybe, <laughs> maybe um, as a man that covers both things, on TV and radio and the newspaper in the UK, perhaps it's a generational thing and we won't know for maybe another 10 years. Well, I, I think that's, that's all true. I think that uh, it connects to me with the short attention span. Yeah. And that and, um, if you were walking down the street and saw a good street fight, you'd probably stop and take a look at it. And, and they've met, found a way to market that. <coughs> and that's exciting. You know, Are you suggesting that there isn't great skill in I think there's some skill in, involved, of course. Yeah. As well as strength and yeah. will and all the rest of that. But uh, unless you are really steeped in that, it, the, the, the optics tell you, well, okay, there's going to be, something's going to happen. And in boxing or prize fighting, as I prefer to think of it, that's not necessarily tr true. The something may be closer to nothing. Have you seen, uh, you. Have, you, have you seen uh, McGregor? Have you watched him? No, fight? no. Not at all. Do you know of any of the fighters? That I can't name three of them. So, and I don't think that the, many of the fans can either. I don't think they care. Mostly.